Well, Freddie looks down at a 7-5 offsuit. He's got 80,000 out there. Cost him another 120 to make the call. Yes, he's reached for a lot of chips here. Those are $100,000 chips. Right. And he is going to raise. Well, we predicted it. You know, this kid's getting under his skin a little bit, so he's going to try to bluff him a pot. Makes it 800000 Now you're sitting on ace jack. You're up against the chip leader. What do you do when you're in second chip position with this hand? Freddie Deep, the master at work, trying to pull off a bluff against the online pro. But look at the young kid. It's not like he's playing online. He's studying his man. He's not just stud looking down at a computer, he's trying to get a read on Freddie Deep. Well, he's trying to figure out if this is what we call a revenge raise or not. Indeed, that's exactly what it is. Is it possible to see Freddie Deep sweat? Well, right now, Jason's doing a little sweating. He's got to figure out what to do with the ace jack here. Come on. Wow. He has gone all in over the top of Freddie one more time. And again, he's made the right decision here. Now, well, Freddie Deep has really got to be frustrated now. Yep, he mucks his hand. Yeah, if Manny just didn't call the 200,000, where at least you get to see a flop and you might bust the guy. Instead, he went for another 600. Life is good for Lavalie. We'll cover that with more action from the Festa Al Lago in just a moment. Stay with us. Well, Bellagio is a classy place, beautiful looking place, nice looking poker room. Everything is nice at the Bellagio. And there's a lot of money at the Bellagio. Uh, the buy-in for this tournament is 15000 We had 275 entries, so we had over $4 million in prize money. And first place is $1.2 million. When it boils down to it, believe me, that's what it's all about. Welcome back to Bellagio. We're here on the World Poker Tour. Six players remain. Well, Bellagio is the Yankee Stadium of poker, no doubt about it. Players from around the world descend on events at Bellagio because it's a classy place. They put on classy tournaments, and there's big money here, Randy. Oh, there is. I've left a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in that poker room. And as you can see, Jason Lavalie from Montreal is the chip leader with about $5 million in chips. Right now, here are some of the former champions of the Festa Alago. What's unusual about this group of champions is that no American-born player has ever taken this WPT title. It's always been a foreign player. Let's see if that trend changes tonight. Things could turn around. Over 1.2 million going to the winner. Let's go down to the felt. He just, he's got his King Jack. That was very good to him early on. And he's got Kojak. Looks a little bit like Kojak's grandson or nephew or something, doesn't he? But you think everyone that has no hair looks like Telly Savalas, so what are you going to do? <laughs> and I do. I think no hair and guys that play poker, <laughs> they remind me of Telly. <laughs> right. Well, he's going to call it. And Jason Lavalie, the Montreal card rack, has ace queen this time. Looks like he's going to raise. Well, you're always a little leery when the guy limps in under the gun, but it's not going to stop Jason from raising it. He makes it 300,000 to go. Into Craig Cravillo, who quickly calls 300,000. He also has the Kojak hand. Freddie out, Jason out. And Sean Kunix will not compete. So back around to Tommy. Very unusual that Tommy and Craig have the same hand. The King Jack. Just call him Telly if you want to, Mike. No, you want to. You get angry when I do that. Yes, I do. Well, Tommy makes the call, so two guys got the same hand. Jason out in front with the ace queen. Let's go to the flop. Now well, flop comes ace, jack, deuce. Nice flop for Jason. He's flopped top pair. The other two guys have flopped second pair. And they both check, surprisingly. 700. Craig is now going to bet. He said, they check. Maybe they don't have an ace. I've got second pair with top kicker. Let me make a wager here. Yeah, 700,000. Tommy Vitas out. How much you got left after that? Lavalie saying how much you got left. He's put about man. half his stack eight. in there, Vince. He's got eight or 900,000 left. Now, the only way you could possibly fold this hand, in my mind, is that you specifically put this guy on ace-king or ace-jack. There is no other hand you can put him on where he wouldn't have come over the top of your pre-flop if he had you beat. It's kind of sick. I think we have the same hand. Now, look at this. He's saying maybe we have the same hand. No, you're well out in front, my friend. 
going to show us why you're one of the top online players in the world. Pump him back. Yeah, part of his problem here is that he didn't bet himself. I don't know why you wouldn't bet with that kind of board. Unless he wanted to check raise. You can't get that hurt getting involved here. That's cool. Oh, look at this. I'm stunned. He's going to lay down his hand. Wow, what a lay down there. Well, he made two mistakes here. One was not betting out when he flopped the two aces. And two was laying it down. He had to put his opponent exactly on ace-king racetrack there. Otherwise, he has to play that hand. All I do is roll. Sometimes you can over-respect the player. That's exactly what happened there. But look at this. The wonder cam he actually did make a good lay down. He would have had a bad beat there. So Jason made the wrong play at the right time. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more action here on the World Poker Tour. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. Welcome back to the Yankee Stadium of Poker. Bellagio for the continuing coverage of the Festa Alago. Last season's champ, Elke Grosperier, went on to become the WPT Player of the Year. And Vince, you know all these players will love to follow in Elke's footsteps. Let's get back to the action. And right now, Jason Lava Lee is a chip leader with about 4.7 million in chips. The action's on him. He's got 8-6 this time. He won't play. Now Craig Cravillo with a 7-5. He also goes out. Freddie going away. And now Jason Burt. Very tight. He's got King Queen this time. Well, I guarantee he's going to play this one on the button. All in. Yep, he's gone all in. Sean Kunix out. Now Tommy goes out as well, lays down the ace high for a nice all-in bet there by the 22-year-old, and he picks up the pot. He's the youngest player at the table, graduate of Caltech, majored in mechanical engineering. Yep. Full-time poker player, first time in a WPT event. Well, very impressive when you make a WPT final table the first time you play in a WPT tournament. Can't do better than that. All right, to the felt we go again. Freddie Deeb, very patient, folds an ace four. Back around to Jason Burt. He goes out. I'm all in. Round to the short stack. Sean Kunix, the entrepreneur from Columbus, he moves all in with the eight six suited here. His wife Chris, rooting him on. I got a little over 500,000 left. Blinds are 50 and 100,000. Kind of hand you have to move in with. Now, Tommy Vitas, though, has a pair of fours and the button, and he mucks it quickly. A little surprised at that. I have a layout. How much is it? Oh, but look at this. Craig Cravillo saying, How much? Well, he's definitely going to call it here with an ace queen. You're not going to lay this hand down. Yep, he makes the call. He does make the call. It is showdown time. So the entrepreneur from Columbus, Ohio, Sean Kunix, an underdog to stay alive. But let's see if he can get lucky. Good luck, Sean. Thank you. Yep, Sean Kunix from Ohio, the entrepreneur on the ropes right now. <laughs> Sweat it back here. Well, he's always happy, though. Good nature for sure. Optimistic. Here come the first three, Mike. Oh, it's come King, 10, 6, all diamonds. He's got the sixes. Oh, yeah, I'm up right now, but if a diamond comes or a jack. Oh my he God. has made a pair of sixes, but his opponent has a lot of outs. Wow, who's, who's the favorite? An ace, a queen, a jack, or a diamond will all win the pot for him. This is Craig's family. Well, everybody holding their breath. The three hearts comes off on the turn. Wow. So far, so good for Sean. Oh, come on! Sean's still on the front. Yeah! <laughs> One card to go here. Let's see if he can hold him off. He's got to dodge an ace, a queen, a jack, or a diamond. His dream of becoming a WPT champion. All the line, but it's a diamond. Jack of diamonds comes off. Craig Cravillo is going to make an ace high flush to win this pot and eliminate Sean Kunix from this tournament. It's all right. That's going to do it for the Buckeye. Out tonight in sixth place. Yep. It'll take on close to 170,000. A big sport there. A big effort. Good luck, everybody. And just like that, five players remain at the Festa El Lago in Las Vegas. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the Festa El Lago in Las Vegas. I'm Vince Van Patten alongside Mike Sexton. We have five players remaining.
Our current chip leader is the Canadian Jason Lavallee with about 4.9 million in chips. Yep, Freddie Deeb going after his third WPT title with about 3.5. <laughs> Tommy Vitas in second chip position, 3.7. <laughs> they all got chips right now, except for the short stack. Jason Burt down to about 1.1. Let's go to the table. Now action on Craig Cravillo. He folds. Yeah, Freddie also folding. And now Jason Burt with a 10-6. Won't play that. So we got the battle of the blinds here. Tommy Vitas looks down at Ace Deuce of Diamonds. 300. He's going to raise it to 300,000. Yeah, put a little pressure on the chip leader, Lavalie, who has a 4-5 of diamonds. And I've noticed he hasn't played these suited connectors at this final table, but here he's in position. He's got the chip lead. And he is going to make the call. So ace, deuce of diamonds up against 4-5 of diamonds. Well, here comes the flop. Now flop comes queen, five, deuce. Tommy has flop bottom pair and checks. Jason has flop middle pair. And he also checks. So conservative play on the flop, a three comes off. Tommy again checks. Now Jason also has an open in straight draw to go along with his second pair. And thus he is going to bet 375,000. Well, he's got the best hand and the best draw. Tommy with the pair of deuces and a straight draw. Well, that's what he's saying is the guy didn't bet on the flop. Did the three really help this guy? Mm -hmm. Maybe he's got something like a Jack Tanner just making a move at this pot. I'm going to call him with the two deuces. All right, down to the river. Who's going to get lucky? Well, the queen comes off. Helps neither player. Again, Tommy Vitas checking. That's right. True pair. That's one. Deuce. He's just going to turn up his card. He's going to win this pot with queens and fives. So the rich get richer. Chip leader extends his chip lead by a little bit. Jason Lavallee. Like Tonight we're playing for the winner, taking home over 1.2 million. Chips later, at least. Massive prize pool. And there, of course, Freddie Deeb going after his third WPT title. Well, here Freddie picks up a nice hand. He's got ace queen. We open up late. He's going to raise it, makes it 400,000 to go. <laughs> Next to act, Jason Burt. He's got ace jack of spades. Well, Jason's been the most conservative player at this table. I'm all in. Yeah, he's got a pretty yeah. decent hand. He's going all in. Sure is. Tommy Vitas out. Jason also out, out, as is Craig Cravillo. One point one. Nightfall. And Freddie making the right call. He's going to love this. Yeah. Well, he's going to love it because he has his opponent dominated. It's ace queen versus ace jack. Freddie about a three to one favorite to win this pot and eliminate Jason Burt from this tournament. Yeah, trouble lurking for Jason Burt, the graduate out of Caltech. Full-time poker player, first WPT event in a lot of trouble right now. Well, everybody on their feet. Here comes the flop. Well, it comes king, queen, four. Freddie has flopped a pair of queens. Jason, however, can catch a 10 and make an ace high straight to win this pot. Two running spades would do it as well. He's got some hope. Would he dare do that to the great Freddie Deeb? Two cards to come. Here's fourth street. Well, nine of diamonds comes off, so we are down to the river card. The 22-year-old must catch a 10 on the river to stay alive in this tournament. <laughs> Otherwise, he'd be out in fifth place. He continues to smile. Can he get lucky? Nope. Eight of spade comes on the river, so that's going to do it for the mechanical engineering major. A graduate of Caltech, Jason Bird is going to be out in fifth place. And Vince, he can go get his compass and head back to the drawing board. <laughs> yeah, well, he's going to pick up 208,000. And there you see Freddie Deep. So by winning that pot, Freddie Deep takes one step closer to winning his third WPT title. Well, this is going to have to do it for now. We have run out of time. So join us again next time for the conclusion of the final table of Bellagio's Festa Alago.